In this video, we are going to review tax settings. We're going to look at taxes and tax categories. So let's begin by selecting Advanced Settings from the left side menu panel, and then selecting Tax Settings. This will bring you to the Tax Settings screen. I've already created one category here called Sales Tax, and I've placed a tax within that category called Sales Tax. Now I could edit this existing sales tax by clicking on the edit icon. I could change this to let's say 2.8%, click save, and my tax would be updated successfully. I could also add additional taxes to this category if I wished, and I can delete this tax by clicking on the trash can icon. By highlighting the category, I'm given options here in the upper right hand corner to edit, the category name. So if I wanted to change this to sales taxes or what have you, I could do that here. And then I could also delete a category by clicking on the delete um, I, the trash can icon. But by doing so, it will remove all of the taxes included within a tax category, the specific tax category that you delete. Now we're going to look at creating a new tax category. And we do that by clicking the plus sign and I'm going to call this food service tax. I'm going to click save and my new tax category appears. Now I can click add tax to add a tax to this new uh, tax category and I'm going to go ahead and call it the same thing. And I'm going to make this 2.5%. Uh, click save. Now we are going to look at how these uh, tax categories can be associated with your products, services, or kits. And we are going to do that by coming over here to Catalog and Products. And I would like to um, uh, associate uh, the food service tax with my Mighty Mo's Deluxe Burger. So I begin by clicking on that. And under the Info tab for this particular product, I'm going to scroll down to Tax Category. Here is where I will select my Food Service Tax and hit Save. And now that tax category is associated with this specific product. I'm going to do the same for my Mighty Mo's Cooking Kit stuff. Uh, but this time I'm going to associate the Sales Tax as the Tax Category and click Save. Now let's go to the register and see how this looks. I'm going to go ahead and click on my Mighty Mo Deluxe Burger and I'm also going to click on my Mighty Mo Cooking Kit. There I can see the taxes that were associated with both of these products accordingly. And that wraps up our tax setting video.